Hi guys and welcome back to Living with the Lindsays. In this video, I will be discussing some eye problems that persons with albinism have. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, keep watching. Now if you don't know what albinism is, I want you to go into the description box and check out our video. The link is there on what is albinism. So persons with albinism have many eye problems that is caused by the lack of melanin. Now melanin is very involved in the development of the retina and that is the thin layer at the back of the eyes. So persons with albinism experience many different eye conditions. The first eye condition that I will be talking to you about is poor eyesight. So persons with albinism may see the world different from all of us. They may have nearsightedness or they may have farsightedness. Now, my three-year rule, Amelia, is very nearsighted. When she is holding a device, she holds it as close to her eyes as possible to be able to see. Or if she's standing in front of the television, she'll go as close to it as possible because she's very nearsighted. The second eye condition is astigmatism. Now astigmatism is when the cornea, the clear layer at the front of the eye, isn't perfectly shaped. So you find that the lens are shaped imperfect or they may be badly shaped. So this causes blurred vision. The third condition is nystagmus. Now, nystagmus is the involuntary movement of the eyes. So you may find that a person who has albinism, their eyes move from side to side. They're not controlling this most of the time. I've seen some persons who can, but most persons, especially little ones, they can't control it. Now, nystagmus doesn't cause them to see wobbly. Although their eyes are moving from side to side, they're not seeing the world wobbly. The only thing that's happening to them is that they have blurred vision. So they can't see images clearly and they are not able to focus on images as best as they would like. So eyeglasses help with the focusing on images. So as when a child goes to school, it is very, very important that they get their eyes tested at an eye doctor and get prescribed glasses so that they may be able to see the best they can in school. And the teacher has to bear in mind that person with albinism may have these eye conditions and they may even be clumsy from time to time. You may find this in children a lot. Now my three-year rule, I had to learn this the hard way. I had to learn to be patient with her because you can see something in clear vision and send her for it, but she's not able to find that item that you're sending her for. And so it's not that she's lazy or she doesn't want to go and get the item that you're telling her to get, but she's frustrated because she can't seem to locate that item. Or when she's going down a flight of stairs, she may trip and fall over um, a step and that's okay. Well, I have to tell her it's okay, you know, because she has eye problems. If you want to see more about what nystagmus looks like, you can continue watching as I insert a clip right here. Now the last eye condition that I'll be talking about is photophobia. And this is where persons with albinism are very sensitive to light. So whenever they go out into the sun, the sun just hits them and they're not able to keep their eyes open. This is why it's recommended that they go into the sun with UV layer protected glasses. This helps them and it shields their eyes from the sun. Remember, they don't have enough melanin, and so they don't have much protection from the sun. So the light from the sun is very blinding to them. 
So guys, this brings us to the end of our video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Until next time, see you. Bye.